Hi, welcome back to the Power DSP lessons. We are going to see some examples in sampling and sampling theorem in the next couple of parts through which we can understand the concepts. Let's get started with the first example. In this example, we need to find the minimum sampling frequency required. The cosine component of 1000 Hz is given here as an input signal. Only one frequency component is present here and hence it is the maximum frequency component. F max is equal to 1000 Hz. We know the sampling theorem very well now that is minimum sampling frequency is equal to twice the maximum input frequency. So Fs is equal to 2 F max. 2 into 1000 is equal to 2000 Hz. The minimum sampling frequency, which is also called Nyquist frequency, required to sample this analog signal is 2 kHz. Let's move to the next example. Here also, we have to find out the minimum sampling frequency required. We have to be careful here that 200 pi t isn't in standard form. The standard form is 2 pi f t. So, we have to equate 200 pi t to 2 pi f t to find out the value of f. After equating, the value of f is 100 Hz. We know fs is equal to 2 f max. So, fs is equal to 200 Hz. The minimum sampling frequency required to sample this signal is 200 Hz. In this example, we need to find out the minimum sampling frequency required for a signal which has three frequency components and it is called composite signal. The three frequency components are 100 Hz, 150 Hz and 250 Hz in which F3 is the maximum value. So the maximum frequency component is 250 Hz. Fs is equal to 2 F max. Hence, Fs is equal to 2 into 250 that is equal to 500 Hz. So the Nyquist rate for this composite signal is 500 Hz. We have here taken a telephone quality signal. The bandwidth of the speech signal is 4 kHz. Normally, the human voice contains the frequencies ranging from 300 Hz to 3.4 kHz. So we have taken the bandwidth as 4 kHz, well above the maximum frequency of 3.4 kHz. The sampling frequency required is 2 FB. 2 into 4 is equal to 8 kHz. Therefore, the sampling frequency of the telephone quality speech signal is 8 kHz. Now, we take an audio signal and try to find out the sampling frequency required. The audio bandwidth is from 20 Hz to 20 kHz. Fs is equal to 2 into Fb, 2 into 20 kHz that is equal to 40 kHz. This is the minimum sampling frequency required to sample the audio signal. But the standards have already been set to sample the audio signals. That is for CD 44.1 kHz. Here we can accommodate maximum of 22.05 kHz. For digital audio tapes that is abbreviated as DAT. The standard is 48 kHz. So we can accommodate maximum of 24 kHz here. Thank you very much for being with me in this lesson. See you again. Bye-bye.